and the cat has disappeared. Well, welcome back, everybody. It is February the 2nd, 2023, Groundhog Day. I think his name is Puxatani Phil. He's pulled out of his hole and said we have six more weeks of winter. Probably here in Montana, we probably have three months. Anyways, it's another new guitar day. It was actually quite mild today. The morning started out very cold. But by the time this guitar was delivered, the temperature had gone up to 40 degrees, so I'm pretty confident that I can unbox it without an extended weight. Also, given the fact that it's a semi-hollow body guitar, so the bulk of the guitar is thin wood, so I'm sure it's warmed up. This is another IYV, and this is the IJZ 300. And they say it's in the Tobacco Sunburst. And there has been some questions about the color of these guitars. Apparently they went through a couple iterations. This guitar, I believe, has been available on Amazon since 2015. So that's a bit of a, a run there. In the beginning, I think they had more of a pointed headstock. Um, there's a fellow that does really nice demos and opening box of guitars from Jimmy Stewart and he got a tobacco sunburst but the back of his guitar had no burst and he actually preferred it that way and I think it actually looked nice too I wouldn't be unhappy at all if I got one like that this guitar came all the way from <coughs> I believe you pronounce it Carlisle Pennsylvania. And it looks like it, as most of these guitars do, the center block completely destroyed, but it still was under the guitar. Ah, fortunately, someone glued that piece, so we might have survived without too much trauma. One can only hope. This guitar is. Very hit and miss according to some of you. Some people get them and they're just really, really, really in good shape. From on the square talk point, we had a fellow who got one that was just completely bombed. Um, but he gave me some good clues as to what to look for. And, uh, I mean, that looks okay. Except for that headstock. Oh good, I've got basically a, a dark one on the back, which is very pleasing to me. Headstock does not look broken. It is a dark tobacco sunburst. has the usual spritz and fritz. There's also a lot of talk about the tail piece not being lined up. Mine looks pretty dang straight. Good enough for who it's working for. In the preliminary, the F holes look reasonable. Again, it was commented that the triple binding is probably just a decal, and you can tell that there's just like a chunk missing right there, which again, does that really matter? It doesn't. I'm really glad that the back is this way. I actually prefer that than the big giant burst. The serial number on this says that it was made in July of 22. And it was the third guitar made in that run. Um, yeah, so First impressions, looks good. It's the only thing I want to complain about is that Amazon dropped the price on it right after I bought it. So <coughs> I heard they're not very sympathetic to those complaints, but I'm going to lay it on them anyways. So I'm going to just go plug this in and give it a whiz. Like I said, I'm usually 
I mean, I try to just see the things that I can see. You know, how's the neck hooked up to the body? Looks pretty good. Again, the binding looks pretty good. I don't mind if there's a couple imperfections here and there. I mean, one just sort of expects that with a guitar that costs as little as this does. And, uh, yeah, the big glaring one is the line just disappears right here, but I don't care. I do not care. It looks like the plastic was removed from the pickups. So, so we're just going to go give it a whirl. Actually, let's weigh it here real quick. Another odd thing about this guitar is some people on their videos go, wow, this guitar is really heavy. Other people say, wow, it's really light. I would say it's medium. It had a shipping weight of 7.9. So this should be easy to do. Six pounds. That's a nice weight. Okay, so we will be back in an hour or two or three. Welcome back, everybody. It is still February the 2nd, 2023. It's about, oh, two hours later. I've played the guitar. Done minor setup work. The E string was a little uh, flat, so I adjusted the intonation and that fixed up nice. I lifted the action a little bit on the treble side because there was a bit of buzz and that went away. They, they ship these things with incredibly low um, action. And some people like really low action. I like my action to be a little up. So here's our preliminary report on this guitar. It's much better than I hoped for. Again, considering this is a $200 price point, brand new, they went up to $225. They've been as low as $150. Um, I would have loved to get it for $150, but I bought in at $191 for a like new used model. So, all things considered, the guitar is in really, really good shape. The build quality is really nice. There's a couple minor flaws that you would find on guitars that cost hundreds of dollars more. Fortunately, the things, they're just cosmetic. There are two issues that would matter if, it, if you could feel it. There is a ding on the neck right here, but when you're playing it, I don't feel it, so that's fine. There's a ding in the headstock up here. You can't see either of these on camera. Um, the only thing that sort of bothers me is that this guitar was sold again. Their designation is used like new. And whoever had the guitar before me did the time-honored removal. They took the plastic off the pickups, which again is no big deal. But I would think that, you know, if someone decided they didn't like this guitar, they should have left that for my pleasure. Whoosh! And the pickguard had no plastic. I don't know if it has it or it doesn't but those are small items. Um, I'm messing with the adjustment on the pickup. It's not quite as warm sounding as I was hoping for, but again, it's got original strings on it, and we know that those are El Cheapo, so we're not going to ding it on that. Um, again, as I mentioned earlier on, a fellow had put a review on Squire Talk, and he got one of these, and it was absolutely a hot mess. I mean, just you name it, problems. I went over this pretty good with a magnifying glass, fine tooth comb. No issues at all that I can see with the inlays. There's no filler, there's no glue sticking out. The nut feels like it was cut properly because when you play the notes up here, everything stays in tune. The tuners on this one are actually a little better than on my Les Paul as far as slop and lash and yeah, they seem to work really well. 
The other thing, too, again, I would assume Amazon's a big company. I don't know if they have a department that handles their guitars. But this guitar was fairly dirty. Um, yeah, it has smudges and fingerprints all over it. And you would think that if they're going to turn around and sell it, use like new, someone would have taken five minutes and just wiped it down. Is that a big deal? No, it's not. It's about the principle of the matter. And I'm a person who believes in principle, and I just think the right thing to do would certainly be to take that extra moment, just give it a nice wipe down before you put it in the bag, so that the new customer, Mr. Persnickety, like me, is a happy guy. Uh, you know, th these boxes, I don't know why. It seems like every one I get is just destroyed on the neck brace. They might want to look into that, figure out a way to uh, beef that thing up a little bit. But somehow these things survived. There was damage into the packaging. That was one of the things that they said that they... Sorry for the interruption. This camera runs on batteries, and the batteries ran out of gas. So I don't know where it was, but just talking about just the little things. Better brace in the box. It's a miracle that these things survived the shipping. Again, um, the other thing that I mentioned when it first came out of the box... And between you and me, I'm not going to tell Amazon this. I'm actually very pleased that this guitar does not have the sunburst around the edge and does not have it on the back. That's, I like that. I was hoping for that. It actually looks like there's a tiny bit of sunburst on the back. It's very light. Um, but if you look in the pictures, it's like a very defined sunburst. Has it on the neck. That's what most of them, or some of them, the back has. I guess it's just who's working the paint booth that day. But I'm actually pleased with the darker. The grain's actually interesting on both the front and the back. Nothing dramatic, certainly no flame or anything. The I didn't mention, but the fret ends again, very nice on this guitar. Again, the nut was cut fine. The biggest defect, and again, I, they call this like triple binding. I think it's a decal. And whoever was doing the work here just sort of fell asleep and one of the lines disappears. But per one of my mottos, if I can't see it when I'm playing it, it doesn't matter to me. And I can't see it when I'm playing it, so it doesn't matter to me. And again, as I think I mentioned, this guitar weighs in at uh, 6 pounds. Um, and, you know, I mean, really, who wouldn't be surprised that there's some minor cosmetic, I don't want to call them defects, for the price point, it's absolutely amazing that there's as few as there are. Again, the binding in the F holes on this is acceptable. I mean, it's, you know, there's no glaring chunks or edges hanging off. I've seen some people that have shared some, but you see little finish flaws. No big deal. Now, as far as playability goes, like I said, without putting new strings on it, it's really hard to have an opinion about what kind of tone this thing really is capable of delivering. Um, my fingers did not get dirty, so I'm assuming that the person who had this either A, potentially changed the strings. There's no colored balls on the end of the string, so whatever he changed it to, they're just no-name strings. Um, but And there's a little bit of grit on the frets, which I've seen on much more expensive guitars. Switch feels okay. I mean, again, it's a little loose, but the potentiometers feel nice. They work nice. One thing I like about this guitar that I don't like about a lot of guitars is that this, if you put it in the middle position, you can turn down one of these and the other one stays on. And I don't, don't know if that's called 50s wiring, but on most of my four control models, if you have it in the middle position and you turn one volume down, all volume disappears. So I prefer the way that this is wired. And another guy on one of the forums pointed out a loose wire hanging down, and people said that that was there for coil splitting. So I just tucked it back in, and now I don't see it, and out of sight, out of mind. So overall, I am very pleased, unless some glaring defect pops out. Um, yeah, I went over it pretty carefully, and they just did a really nice job. And for the price point, again, just looking at the way the joints are set up and everything, and, you know, like there's a little bit of a funky there with the binding. But overall, you know, there's no 
dings in the binding, and again the fret ends feel good. The tuners look like they were installed fairly straight, which sometimes seems to be a problem when they rush these guitars out. You can't really see a scarf joint, but I'm sure there's one there. Can't imagine this being a one-piece neck. So, all in all, we'll be back in a few weeks. If uh, I'm going to call Amazon and ask them to do a modest price adjustment for just what I consider to be, it, it could have been better. And we'll see how that goes. And if they play hardball, maybe I'll return it. Get another one. I mean, they're selling the brand new ones now for $200. When I bought this at 191 they were selling them for 225 So it's like, oh, I saved $35. Now I'm down to saving $9. So if they want to be tough and they want to just act like, as a lot of people say, they're that way, they'd rather just have you return it and buy another one, which is just really really bad strategy. It's really bad on many fronts. If someone's willing to work with them in a reasonable way, they should be more than open to the fact that, yeah, just, yeah, we'll take a few bucks off and you're happy and we don't have to waste shipping charges and put it back in our warehouse and sell it again. And so we'll see what they say. So anyways, I'll be back in a couple weeks. Puxatani Phil says six more weeks of winter, so we'll see how that goes. Thank you. Welcome back, everybody. It is February the 11th, 2023, Saturday morning. Actually, it's Saturday afternoon, beautiful day outside. We're just doing the follow-up of this guitar, which is... The IYV IJZ 300, and then they call it a TSB, which I guess is the Tobacco Sunburst. I've had this guitar now for about, oh, eight days, and I'm very pleased with it. Very pleased. Again, I got it for a good price. It had a couple defects on it that don't matter to me at all. Overall, the guitar plays great, sounds great. Lightweight comes in at about six pounds, and I'm just very satisfied with it. Um, you know, as I said earlier in the video, when you buy these guitars, you're playing budget guitar bingo. Sometimes you get a good one, sometimes you get one that's not so good. This one turned out to be a very nice guitar, and I probably mentioned it on the earlier video, but I weigh V guitars depending on the week, the mood of the person. You get different things. A lot of people say that there's a solid block all the way up the middle, like any ES semi-hollow body guitar. This guitar has a block that's about this big. Void down here, void up here, which is actually good news. I'm not one who mods a guitar, but if you ever needed to do repairs on this guitar, you would have full access to the cavity when you remove the pickups, rather than doing everything through the, uh, the F-holes. As noted, this guitar has no sunburst on the sides. The back sunburst, although the camera shows it as being much more dramatic, the truth be told, it's a very subtle sunburst. You get the real sunburst on the back of the neck, which when you're playing it, you could care less. Otherwise, the fit and the finish, it had one defect. It has a minor little, I don't want to call it a gouge, but a minor dent right here on the neck. But when you're playing, you don't feel it, so you don't notice it, so it's good. Controls work good. Pickups sound fine. Again, quite pleased with this guitar. So I'm just going to end the video with this because I have another guitar that we're going to do. So I'm just going to end by saying that this guitar was a really good deal. It's I have nothing exactly like it, so it has its own niche. And uh, very pleased. So there you go.